Hello and welcome back to the third part of the ELF tutorial. Hey, uh, where was the ELF? Okay, so we looked at it, what he might look like from the front side and three quarters and now we're going to think about how to pose him. So this is where your story ideas come in. If you've got an idea for what the ELF might be, whether he's going to be, um, let's see, let's, let's make a, a happy ELF. And when you think about these things, you're drawing the same base uh, that we did in this one, okay? But the difference being is that you're putting it into an action pose. So we're starting with the same large head, small body, and all the circles, okay? So let's think about this guy being um, happy. And we talk about the line of action. I'm going to introduce you to this. Um, I have talked about it before. So the line of action, which is the center line of energy, if you like, running through the body. It's the, the uh, where the dynamic of the body is. So for a happy pose, this dynamic is really like this. So we, we've got this, his body. I say you can draw the circles in if you want. Feel this, him pushing out his chest and splayed his legs wide and his arms are open as well. And his hands are right out there. And we've got his head is looking up the way. So this is another way of turning the head through perspective, of course. So just remember that those center lines, if you move it up, they will shift up as well. And uh, he could be looking up to the sky and a big grin. Yay! Maybe he he got the um, he got the present he wanted, and his nose would be up the way, and uh, his hat, of course will be a bit further up the way as well. All those lines turning through space. So this is just, so there's a real kind of up and hands open gesture. If you can do these poses yourself, you can do them in front of a mirror and it's the best way. And you, ha you are your best reference um, for these things. So you can't stand like that if you're sad, it's impossible. Okay, so what about if he's sad and he didn't get the present that he wanted? Oh, poor little elf. And he's looking really forlorn and sorry for himself. Well, the line of action is going to be really down. It's going to be a curved uh, line, not so dynamic. Um, and the, the body really tucked into himself, his head and his body. So like this. Um, we have the ears, of course, and his eyes down here. Now, of course, you can start to add a lot more expression to things uh, as well. So you can have a really take the the top of the eye and really make it come in and make it look really sad as well. Oh, oh poor little elf wonder what happened. So you have to think about uh, uh, a caption for these. Poor little elf. Maybe he's, he's got a little lip sticking out there because he really is sad. Now, the sad, when you're sad, your arms tend to drop down. So let's have his arms really dropping down and his hands coming back like this. And his legs really heavy and lazy. And those circles again for the feet. So this is just our guidelines that we can uh, start to block out uh, our poses and then using these blue uh, lines as a guide, you can work it up just the same way we did. We worked it up into the uh, other drawings. So you get this real different feeling here of this uh, action in this direction and this action and really into itself in this direction. Okay, so what about um, the elf running? What about if he's running somewhere, uh, running away? Maybe he's stolen some candy and he's trying to get away. You know, they're terribly naughty, aren't they, elves? So we have his head again. And this line of action this time is really, we're going to have him running off to the left. This direction, okay, he's going this way. Ooh. And his head's really leading uh, so let's have him looking in the direction that he's going in uh, and I'll have this headline here and the ear line remember that moves around as well uh, so him running looking this way or maybe you know he could even be looking back because there's somebody following him he could be laughing or 
looking worried and that's up to you depending on your storyline so so let's have his little body coming back this way and the legs let's fling them right out so you have these real dynamic of the legs coming up and out like he's really running fast and coming back you fling them as wide as you can and you get him to look like he's moving much faster and you can have his little hands right back there and one at the front he's really tearing it up like this and uh, perhaps uh, you can also use his the hat if you use uh, accessories as well it can really help to make things look fast so have his hat coming right back and that really helps to speed things up rather than the hat being up straight which you'd feel there was no wind and no movement so this really helps to bring the movement into the drawing um, and he could be oh he's running away from something perhaps he's seen something or he could uh, be laughing as well because uh, you know and you bring his eyes up like this he's really cheeky he's laughing because he got away with something <laughs> okay so this could all be worked up into uh, the final drawings so this really helps you this method this really helps you to um, block out your poses and get a really good understanding of uh, the movement of the character and how you're going to set up your gag because basically you know the cartoons you uh, we're talking about communication. I talk very much about communication. I'm not talking about perfection. I'm talking about you communicating your idea and something that you want to uh, show your audience, either make them laugh or cry. Okay, right. What about another pose? <laughs> okay, what about a really naughty elf who's sneaking around? So um, this, the kind of a sneak uh where you'd have this really as line of action that really comes down like this and you have uh maybe he's looking back the way so he's got his head down slightly he's being mischievous so you have these this is for the ear here and you have these big uh, his eyes like this so the three quarter for these kind of things is really really uh, important to understand it before you start drawing and uh so his body, his arm would be up and the kind of classic sneak position with his thumb raised and his fingers like this. Um, what's that? That's an extra finger. We don't need that. And his body, these two circles. The hips are really forwards as he's really flinging out his leg into the sneaky position and just tiptoeing away from something that he shouldn't have been doing probably knowing little elf very naughty so this is the the basic shape and then of course you can just embellish it with uh, perhaps this would be forwards and quiet in a sweet anticipation of being and it will it will help you to uh, emphasize the the mood sorry sometimes i just twitter when i draw i find it quite difficult actually to talk and draw at the same time um okay there we are and you see he's starting to take shape like this and he's maybe smiling oh he deserves a caption perhaps we could we could even make him even a bit more evil and sly looking by bringing in the eyelids on both sides and he starts to look really like he's up to no good at all oops I think he's up to no good at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And that would be his little tunic over this way. And of course you can add all those embellishments, the belts and all the other things uh, when you work it up fully and the stripes. Okay. So he's, he's definitely up to no good. Uh, what else? Maybe he's... Uh, stolen too much candy or he's proud of his work okay so there's so many different scenarios that you can think about when you think about an elf um and let's uh, i'm going to make a very proud pose now um and i'll just show you how to do this it's uh using the line of action 
like this it's like the happy pose um where your chest really sticks out so his little chest will be really sticking out he's very proud of something that he did and his head let's bring his head up there and uh, his ears okay so maybe he's looking at us You're really proud of something sticking his chest all the way out there and he could have his hands on his hips so bring the, this around put the circle of the hands on the hips and the fingers behind and maybe he's holding something out what's he holding he's proud of something that he's got there we can figure that out in a minute okay and his body language is very open the circles for the heels which will help you place the feet and give them some volume aha uh -huh. so what's he looking at here he's looking at us maybe actually we could even give him some a big grinning teeth And his hat and he's happy about something what is it what should we put in his hand let's put a, a hammer in his hand uh, as the little elves they do all, all the work up at the North Pole don't they so uh, let's see him standing there with his hammer and he could be really pleased about that and that's what you just take up and nip off the corner of the eye so they really give him that big cheeky smile and um or maybe he's a bit more mischievous so he's looking in that direction thinking i know i've got an idea what's he saying do you reckon huh what's he saying what would you have him say leave me a comment below if you can think of something a nice caption for this one and then we'll work him up into a final um, image and that could be quite fun for a christmas card okay all right i hope you enjoyed it if you did please subscribe and uh, i put up new videos every week don't forget to hit the bell button and you'll get notifications okay thanks for watching bye